Okay. Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading, beloveds. I will all is bliss. I will life is good. I will you all are grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I'm staying busy as per usual, especially in this climate. You gotta stay busy. You just gotta. Or else you'll get distracted with the nonsense. Um, Spirit told me it was time for a reading. I've already um, shared with you all that I do the readings when I feel Spirit wants me to put the readings out there. I don't want to flood your your timeline with a gazillion readings from me because I really like to let the energy do what it does. You know, you got to let things play out. Um, Sometimes there's more than one message, and that's cool. Uh, as of late, as I said, I've been really just doing more me work. I've been doing a lot of me stuff this year, so uh, taking care of myself, not really um, getting into too much else other than getting me together. You know, so you know this is this is a lifelong process. You know, the the healing that is. Um, it's a lifelong process and you're going to be doing this work until you graduate into the spirit realm. So I will that you all in between reads have been taking the time to take care of yourselves, um, as well as making sure to, to treat yourselves good. You know, it's, it's really imperative to start honoring your bodies, to start, uh, being more mindful of what you're ingesting, what you're watching, what you're listening to. Um, it's time to be more objective in that regards. Um, there's a lot going on, you know, in mainstream media uh, in terms of what's happening in the sky. And um, we would be fools to think that we're the only, you know, living beings in the universe. Like, we would be really foolish. You know, they, they say, like, there's only... You know, there's like 90% of life in the ocean that we have yet to discover. So how are we to believe that we are the only ones on this planet or in any, on any planet for that matter? So whatever's going on, trust and believe <laughs> it is going to happen, beloved. It is just going, it's going to take place whether we're ready or not, you know, and this is no new phenomenon. I was literally having a lot of dreams last year um, where there were a lot of aircraft in the sky and some of the dreams, there was mayhem, which is, I guess, you know, a normal reaction when you're, you're not, uh, when you're seeing, you know, when your eyes are seeing something that you've never seen before, uh, it could be quite shocking. So, you know, in some of my dreams, um, and I've mentioned this in former readings, uh, how, you know, there were some aircraft, you know, that was uh, hovering in the skies and there was more than just one. And there was a lot of, lot of mayhem and screaming and a lot of chaos, but I digress. So I will that you all in between all of that are doing your due diligence to take care of yourselves, beloved. Um, when it is your time, it is your time. There's nothing you can do about it. It's already written, you know? So that's why it's very imperative to make sure you are clearing up any karmic debts, you know? Also closing out karmic cycles, just doing more to, to ensure that you don't have to come back to this, to this place, to this crazy place again you know there's a lot of folks that um, came back a couple of times and you could tell you know because those are the ones who are literally living in their third and fourth childhood um so when you see something you act on it trust your intuition do not do not do not get led astray um and do not allow yourselves to get overwhelmed like take the necessary time to sort things out, you know, to meditate, to get things straight, take a nature walk if you have to. Um, I had to do that today. You know, things can get overwhelming at times. And instead of sitting and wallowing that 
in that, um, go outside. I guarantee you're going to feel better in about five minutes tops. Just being out there and being able to ground yourself and connect and just being amongst the trees, you know, that's that's ancient wisdom. You know, being amongst nature is always a very instant way to um, to purge, you know, to purge and to 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 ground yourself. So I encourage each of you to do that. I know that things have been really hectic lately. So if some of you all found yourselves feeling a little bombarded by things or certain things got out of, um, you know, got out of control, it's okay. You're human, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're a spiritual being having a human experience, but it's okay. And there's room for you to, to, uh, make those mistakes. Um, but just go, just clear it up. You know, don't, don't beat yourselves up. Don't, don't, uh, don't judge yourselves in those moments. Um, be more patient, be more patient with yourselves. Um, and also more compassionate, you know, be more compassionate toward yourselves and, 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 and give yourselves room to, to, you know, make those mistakes. I know we could be, uh, perfectionists at times, you know, Scorpios really like things a certain way. And when it doesn't happen in that way, being that we're fixed, um, it can become, you know, uh, problematic. And the goal is to not allow anything to, to overwhelm you. You know, that is the ultimate goal is to, you know, to always remain grounded, you know, like a tree, you know, unwavering, you know, just, just take the time to inhale and exhale the bull crap you know, but be patient with yourself, be loving with yourself. Um, so it is officially, what time is it? 814 on the clock. So that's 13. That reduces to 13. 13 is your number. Transformations, regenerations, rejuvenations, renewals. This is really about, you know, the death of the old version of yourselves and the birthing, the emergence of a new, um, there could have been a whole lot of pain uh, that you've endured, that you've experienced. Maybe you're feeling or experiencing a lot of pain. Um, Saturn right now uh, is very uh, instrumental celestially. Uh, Saturn and Venus uh, a week ago, a week or two ago, were in conjunction and that energy is all about karma. Saturn is a planet of karma. It's also a very slow moving planet. Uh, and much like Mars, um, it can cause a lot of, of, you know, contention, a lot of, a lot of frustration, you know, because of impatience or just simply maybe feeling like you don't see progress or you don't see the results of your hard work. And it's really just about you standing firm and, 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 and not allowing how things appear to affect you. You know, it's, it's whatever it is that you're anticipating or you're waiting for um, is very much like your side view mirrors when it says, you know, objects are closer than they appear. Um, so you cannot allow yourselves to get misled or, or to lose that, that, that passion because of the way something appears to be, how it appears to be, because looks can be deceiving. And there could be some blessings right around the corner if you just trust in the process and walk in faith. So I'm strongly feeling with that 13 opening up the reading, that 8, um, 15 that we just saw, that 13 is very symbolic of the death card, which is your energy Scorpios. And the death card is really a card of perseverance and resilience. Um, 
there were some painful endings. You had to close out some tough cycles, some long cycles at that. Um, but you've done it, you know, you did it. And, and, and that is what you need to focus on. Um, focus on what you have been able to obtain opposed to what you don't have or what hasn't happened or where you aren't. It's like show the, the gratitude for how far you've made it because it has not been an easy journey, but you did it. And you have to celebrate your wins. You have to acknowledge those things. And you can't just judge yourself for where you are not. Um, everything happens in divine timing and in divine order. And it is really imperative to trust the process, especially when you get to this stage. I know it could be very disheartening uh, you know, when you feel like you've done a lot and you aren't feeling like you're seeing the rewards. Um, but trust every day you wake up, that's a blessing. That's a gift. Um, if you have, you know, uh, income coming in on a steady basis, that's a blessing. If you have food in your refrigerator, clothing, if you have heat and running water, beloved, those are the things that you should show gratitude for because the very things that you take for granted are the things others could be praying for so it would behoove us to to um to just be more thankful appreciative um for where you are and and if necessary look back at a year ago and compare that version of yourself to who you are today. And if that doesn't change your mind, then beloved, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but um, welcome to anybody that may be new. My name is Q. I am to a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudience. So during this reading, you will hear me playing music and the way that it works, the name of the song Name of the artist, lyrics within the song, name, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I am channeling intuitively, as well as what the tarot cards will be showing. And it all just blends very beautifully. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if the reading does not apply, just let it fly by, beloveds. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So go down in my description box below. Click on the link that says natal chart, pull up your natal chart. It will generate all of your information celestially. It's literally like your celestial blueprint. And you can gather all of the information pertaining what your rising sign is, what your moon sign, where your Venus, what your Venus is, where, you know, how's, what, where your, your, what your placements are, period. And it will give you a more clear and concise uh, you know, understanding of yourselves. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you or whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so beloveds. So before we proceed with the read, I'm going to go ahead and do a little house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. So what we have playing on the playlist at 822. 
So it's 822, so that's 12. 12 breaks down to 3. 3 is the energy of the divine feminine. The divine feminine is a very creative energy. That is the empress. If you're a divine masculine, if you're a masculine listening, then that would be you in your divine masculine energy, the emperor. Uh, or you could be tapping into that feminine energy. You could be, you know, kind of balancing that yin and yang energy, that feminine and masculine energy. Uh, the empress is very nurturing, very beautiful, attractive, powerful, master manifester. She's an alchemist. Uh, she knows how to manifest her desired outcomes. She is pregnant, pregnant with uh, a child. She could be pregnant with new ideas, birthing new projects. Uh, some of you all could be finding yourselves um, embarking on new endeavors. Perhaps you have just started a business and uh, things are picking up, or maybe you are, uh, you know, in the developmental stages of uh, launching a new business, launching a new product. Maybe you're uh, mastering your craft in that regard. Um, but this energy is that of of uh, determination, drive, uh, as well as self awareness. Like you know who you are in that energy, um, and and that energy. Uh, when you know who you are, when you have that self-awareness, um, it comes off as, as, um, sure, you know, surety, um, even strength, you know, it comes off as very attractive, you know, the confidence, um, the empress and emperor are regal, they're royal, uh, so you are well off. You could be very self-sufficient and independent at this time, taking care of your own responsibilities, not needing or wanting for anything or not needing or wanting anyone for anything. Um, I just feel that you've worked hard to uh, obtain this newfound uh, independence or this newfound security. Uh, there could be some of you all who are pregnant with a child. Congratulations. Maybe some of you have just learned that you're pregnant. I'm hearing three months pregnant, three weeks pregnant. Um, maybe some of you all just birthed a child in this third month. Uh, but there's a three that is of significance. Maybe someone, um, someone from your past. I'm getting a sense of like there's some sort of reunion, perhaps maybe you're reuniting with some folks from your past that you haven't spoken to. Maybe you will be going to like I'm hearing, um, you know, like some sort of reunion or like it's it's like maybe a gathering of old college friends coming together for like spring break is coming up. Um, so I'm, I'm just getting a sense of like reuniting, reconnecting, celebrations, you know, I'm seeing people pouring libation, cheers and, and, and giving, you know, toasts and things of that nature. So there could be some sort of party I'm getting also, like it could be, um, uh, um, what do you call that? A baby shower. Maybe some of you all will be attending like a baby shower, um, or you're having a baby shower. I'm hearing surprise. So someone may be throwing someone a surprise baby shower or a bridal shower even. I'm hearing that. It could be a bridal shower, bachelor party, bachelorette party. But I'm, I'm getting a lot with that three. But I just feel celebrations. I feel reunions. I feel reconnecting. And I just feel like it's just a fun time, a good time. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense like during uh, the spring break, some of these um celebrations will take place. So what we have playing right now is we have, um, this is called the group home and it's called the realness. So, um, whatever this is, whatever this connection, these are real connections. This isn't like, like no fly by night. This isn't no fugazi, no fufu. This is no fraudulent. This is real, real connections. So whoever's coming back, this is like, this is real. They're being real. They're being their authentic self. Um, they're presenting, um, you know, their authentic self. They're presenting uh, their true self. So this realness, and, and, and maybe this is something someone appreciates about you all, is your realness. You, you, you're down to earth. Um, you know, I'm hearing approachable. 
uh, most people wouldn't approach uh, like an empress or an emperor because they just seem to be so well to do, just so, you know, um, well off, you know, some, most would be intimidated, but maybe there's uh, an element to your personality that is just very down to earth, very earthy, very cool in the game, you know, um, cool, calm and collected. You know, I just feel like there's, there's this, this realness about you. Uh, that someone may appreciate, or maybe there's something within someone that you will appreciate uh, that you find to be very real, uh, very genuine. So let's tap in. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that. <laughs> Open up the box and voila, creativity is right here waiting for you. And we was just talking about the empress. So that empress that we was just breaking down because it was 822 and that was 12. And I was just expounding on, you know, the Empress and, and, and uh, her vibration and her frequency. And look at this beautiful sunny yellow card. Yellow is a color of not only strength, but vitality. It's a color of, of the sun. The sun provides illumination, truth, so there, there's something, uh, it's also an energy of joy, you know, happiness, peace, you know, total elation. Just, this is a beautiful energy. And this empress is the one feeling this energy, feeling this, this sense of, of joy and peace and happiness. Um, this three is also giving me, uh, a strong sense of like, uh, strategizing. Maybe you are really working out the kinks to something. If you are uh, working on a project or working on some sort of um, business idea, I, I, I get a sense of like, you're like really like you're, you're, you're being very um, meticulous is the word I'm hearing. Very meticulous about you know, what you're doing or how you're doing it. So you could be like foolproofing something. Maybe, like I said, if you are like, um, working on your production, like you're, you're producing products, then maybe you're like figuring out how to, um, uh, how to work smarter and not harder. You know, like you're, maybe you're figuring out how to uh, cut costs, or maybe you're learning a new technique for a particular I, uh, product idea, you know, but this is like, this is like mastering your craft. This is really like in that energy of, you know, birthing new ideas. Maybe you're working on something entirely new and you're learning, you're learning as much as you can working very hard, very diligently, uh, at this as well. Very powerful energy that I'm getting here from, for you, Scorpio. So let's tap in. Let's see what we got on the split. So we have 77 spirituality and you all know, if you've been here before, um, you know how I feel about double numbers. If you are new, I will expound, but whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you and whoever you're attracting, mirroring one another. And so the seven is associated with the crown chakra. So that crown chakra, when you take that, you know, when you get to the crown chakra, that means that there's been ascension. There's been some personal growth. Mind, body, spirit is in alignment uh, because the crown is, you know, that is the uh, that is your um, that is you reaching that level of self mastery. You start off at the root, the base, the basement, the base chakra, and you ascend all the way up to the seventh. So you are attracting someone in this beauty, in this regalness, in this, this confidence, in this self-awareness. You're, you're attracting someone who is a spiritual partner, who is um, on your frequency, who's also connected, you know, very intuitive or discerning. The two of you communicate telepathically or intuitively. This is someone who also, um, with the seven, seven, it breaks down to 14, which is five. So I'm getting a sense of like this person, whoever you speak, you know, whoever this person is like, they desire to come towards you to, to rush in because they may see you as a wish fulfillment. Like they see you shining. They see you as 
you know, having some sort of, you know, shine spotlight, maybe, um, you've just transformed so, so eloquently, so elegantly, and it's just attractive, or maybe you've just, you've, you've, um, something within you has just changed and it's just, it's real, it's attractive, and it's kind of like drawing them in. We have Jill, Jill Scott, and this is called, um, not like, uh, crazy, but the name of the album is called beautifully human. And so that's literally what I'm getting from this person and how they uh, may see you because five and three reduces to eight and eight to me is always associated with like the star. This also is telling me that this person uh, may surprise you, may rush in, communicate, say something. Maybe you'll receive some sort of good news. And this intuition card is right underneath that. So spirit uh, definitely wanted to show this card. So trust your intuition. Uh, because there could be some good news. There could be some news coming in. Maybe you can sense that. I'm strongly feeling like there's some, some news that's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy. Even if this isn't a person per se, like a love interest, I feel like this could be news in relation to perhaps your career or in relation to a business. It could be a spiritual career that you are embarking on and you may hear some good news in regards to, um, your business. You may hear that someone wants to, um, you know, may want to, uh, to distribute your products or sell your products or partner up with you. I just feel like there's some good news and you're going to be like super satisfied. So we have a card that spirit wants me to expound on and we have compassion. So I mentioned compassion during the intro of the reading. So this nine, nine double numbers yet again. So this is telling me like there's definitely no communication blocked off. This is someone you may feel like you have given chance after chance to. And I feel like you're both guarded. But I feel like there's also been this element of, you know, like going into hermit mode, um, not really having much of a social life, just really working on the self, really healing myself, really recovering from any trauma, whether it's childhood, past life, familial. It's like you've really taken the necessary time to to heal thyself, you know, to look back in awareness, um, to gain a deeper, more profound understanding of you. And in that time away, in that isolation, um, your heart was opened. You were able to, to show forgiveness to those who may never have even apologized. Um, you were also able to learn to forgive yourselves. Uh, maybe this was one of, this could be a lesson that you all need to, um, to, you know, learn from is to be more compassionate and non-judgmental towards yourselves. I definitely get a strong sense of like, major changes taking place. And that's why you should be more compassionate because I feel like you've been very resilient. You've been very, um, strong throughout whatever these, these changes, these obstacles were. Um, and spirit just is, is like reminding you, like show yourself some, some compassion, you know, stop judging yourself, show forgiveness to those, um, even from your past. Uh, because it frees you, you know, it, it definitely frees you. When I was taking my nature walk today, um, I was looking up at the clouds um, up in the sky and I saw an anchor uh, clear as day. So when I saw that anchor, I felt like spirit was saying that whatever I was being boggled down by, it has now, it's been released. So this is giving me strong sense of like perhaps some sort of completion you know, um, because maybe you have learned to forgive. Maybe you have been more compassionate. perseverance here and four is associated with that emperor. And I was just speaking on perseverance and resilience and the strength that you had to 
uh, display. Whoever you're attracting or whatever you're attracting, again, I feel elation. Four is associated with that heart chakra um, as well. And so this just speaks to uh, your heart being open, your heart chakra being wide open. Uh, and your heart chakra can only open if you heal it. Um, this shows emotional intelligence. Uh, this also shows stability, security, independence. It shows self-love, you know, learning to love thyself, learning to heal thyself, um, and learning who you are ultimately. So this is beautiful. I love that. So that's on the bottom of the deck. So let's go ahead and pull your card. So who is our beautiful Scorpios attracting? They have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Okay. There's a lot of messages and we have 71, eight, and that's health. So someone could be stressing and agonizing. I'm not taking all these cards. This is a lot of cards. We got forgiveness. I was just expounding on that. Change. I just expound on that. We have surrender here. So this is about, you know, not being so guarded. You know, I was speaking to like, you know, being very standoffish, no communication. Intuition is showing again. Rebirth. I was speaking to transformation. Domestic harmonies. So some sort of ending or this could be, you know, a new beginning because every ending denotes a new beginning. This is going to bring you an equilibrium. I see new beginnings here. So this is definitely like, you know, taking action towards something new. I see financial discipline. So whatever you're working hard on with that three, you know, this gives me like the three of pentacles. So you're working very diligently, learning, you know, crafting, studying, researching with relationship change. Some of you may have new love coming in, entering in. I was feeling someone from your past. Remember, I was expounding on the hermit mode. This is that time out. And night with nature, I was speaking of you all maybe needing to take some time to go out in nature, take a nature walk just to, you know, purge, just to ground yourselves, to release, you know. We have the Al Green here. Let's stay together playing. So perhaps someone from your past could be returning wanting to reconcile. I was picking up on someone from your past. I was picking up on some sort of reunion. Maybe someone is going to ask someone to move in or let's get an apartment. Let's stay together could also be like moving into an apartment. Let's stay together could also be two people who are separated, deciding to rekindle their connection, deciding to repair it, to work on it, to work at it. Divine spirit of love and light. They have a message of peace, power, and protection. All right. They said that's good. Let me cut the deck. So that card was like a bonus card. So I'm going to pull an extra card to go right in underneath that. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck will be the overall energy. And we have two patients. So spirit is telling you to take your time to get something right. Patience is a form of action as well. So sometimes it's very important to find balance, to find that emotional equilibrium, to balance the heart and the mind, to not just act out of emotion or to act too illogical. It's like it's very important to find that balance. So in order to find that balance, you need to be in a meditative state. You may need to go out and take that nature walk, as I said, as I suggested earlier, because there's something that is requiring you to make a decision and spirit is already telling you, you know, to be, to be like water. You know what I'm talking about? To let things flow, let things go. You don't need to hold on to animosity, regret. You don't need to be guarded. Spirit already showed you need to surrender to spirit. Trust the divine. Don't try to control the narrative. So be patient. Maybe this is something you've been patiently waiting for. Maybe patience has been like I said earlier, um, it has been an obstacle for you. It has been a challenge for you because you feel like you've been working so hard. You've been doing so much. So much has been changing, but you feel like even though there's been a lot of changes, things still remain the same, you know, in certain instances. And maybe that's what's causing a little dissatisfaction or impatience. And so spirit is telling you to just be patient because something is happening behind the scene. This too is associated with the high priestess. And so the high priestess is, you know, she's the keeper of the ancient wisdom. There's also things that are hidden and they're hidden in plain sight, but you have to trust your intuition in order to be able to pick up on it. And we have a Mel Rowe, 
and this is called for real. So whoever is coming in, you may have been waiting a long time or whatever is coming in, it's real. And that's why it's taking so long. Good things take time to create. You know what I'm talking about? So if, if, if you want something real or authentic or pure or genuine, it's going to take a little longer. You know what I'm talking about? It's, it's not microwavable. It's not a microwavable situation. It takes time, beloved. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no microwave dinner. This is like you got to go in there and, and you got to prepare your meal. So spirit is saying, in other words, and I was trying to use an analogy, but spirit is saying, in other words, be patient, beloved, because what you have asked for, what you've worked for, it's coming. It's happening behind the scenes. You just got to be patient. And with 61, self-love, what did I say? You got to learn to love that self. When that four showed up, um, it was on the bottom of the deck and I was speaking of the person or whatever you are attracting, it's because your heart chakra is open. You know, that, that self-love, this is how you've grown. You've grown tremendously in that regard because maybe in the past you were very, you know, self-sabotaging or overcompensating, you know, giving more than you were getting, you know, and that's why now maybe there's this sense of being guarded. Maybe you're too guarded now. And spirit's like, look, you could ease up a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Because you've learned your lesson. So nobody is, you're not going to attract anyone that's coming in with that old energy because your vibration has changed. Your frequency has changed. You're in a completely different channel. So you don't, you needn't worry about those things. You need to be more patient, more, uh, more compassionate towards yourselves, not judging yourselves. Some of you all can still be judging yourselves for things you've experienced, you know, perhaps within a former relationship or at a job or within a friendship and you felt like, dang, you stayed long before the, the expiration date, you know, long after the expiration date. And, and you could be still a little like salty about it, but it's like, yo, you got to let it go. Let it flow. Love it. Because, you know, the self-love is when you, when this card shows up, it's like, this is what you are exuding now. This is what you're vibrating at. This is your frequency. You know who you are. You know, you, you love yourself, good, bad, and indifferent. You love them extra pounds. You love all of you. You don't care. You know there's work to do, but you love yourself now. It doesn't matter how you look. It's not about a physical appearance. It's not about that. This is about you loving you, your inner child, loving who you are, who you evolved into. This is what that is. And with that 61, that seven, that's the personal growth. You know, that you reach in that crown chakra. That's the seven. This is also you being more assertive. That's the chariot. And you're assertive now because you found that equilibrium. So you are the chariot controlling those two horses, you know. So you, in order for you to even do that, you, you have to have some sense of um, self-control. So whoever you're attracting to you, this is someone that may want to rush in. This is someone coming in confidently because they're attracted to the love that you are showing yourselves, giving yourselves. Self-love is attractive. And so this is why you're attracting that. We have um, um, soul to soul, and this is called keep on moving. And so with soul to soul, I definitely feel like this could be a soulmate, twin flame, spiritual companion. We have spiritual career here. So this is what some of you all are attracting. You're attracting your divine purpose, your divine passion, your divine mission, soul mission. It's like this is what you're attracting to you. And it requires patience. Spirit is, 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 is like preparing you. Everything happens in divine time. So whatever this is, this 78 breaks down to 15, that's six. Your intuition could be telling you you know, to prepare. Maybe that's why you're drawing, you're getting impatient because you can literally feel, you know, the change in the air. You can literally feel it. Perhaps you're coming into a very, very uh, profound business partnership because six is also the lovers and the lovers isn't necessarily just love, but it's also, you know, you could love what you're doing. This could be the love of, um, you know, a particular um hobby, which turns into, you know, uh, um, a career, you know, of choice. But this is like you coming into like a really um, 
a really spiritual union. This is a sacred union. That's why spirit is telling you, like, look, can I can I do my God work? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, watch me work, beloved, you know? And there goes that 77, spirituality. And that double numbers, you know how I feel about double numbers. So the double numbers here, and we're about to pull the card for how this person feels about you. They also feel it's sacred. They also feel it's divine, divinely ordained, predestined with this spiritual career here, along with spirituality. There's, there's synergy, there's chemistry. Remember, we got soul to soul singing, keep on moving. And so with soul to soul, that's what is really sticking out more than keep on moving. So with soul to soul, I feel like your souls are intertwined. It's like there's, there's, uh, it's like there's uh, a mirrored reflection of one another. It's like you both are mirroring one another. You both have gone through uh, enormous change. You both have, have really like graduated, learned to navigate, you know, this, this plane, this dimension. And now you're prepared to help heal the collective or help the collective in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But this is powerful. But this is a, is, is a, a, a very spiritual or sacred connection with soul to soul. So how does this uh, person feel about our beautiful Scorpios? Get a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Finish my shuffle. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have 41 self-discipline. So that's when you're in full control of the self. You've learned. So the two cards we have, and this, this got bent, individuality. So this is your independence. Your independence is the foundation of your security, stability, your happiness. And we also have love. So someone definitely feels like you are super independent. You are very self-sufficient, just like that empress, just like I was describing in the beginning, but they also feel you're a wish fulfillment. You're everything that they wish for, hope for, because this 11 and the six breaks down to eight. So two and six is eight. This person sees you as a wish fulfillment. This is someone that may dream about you a lot, may pray for you. They could be trying to manifest you. Maybe this is someone who could be a karmic or someone who could have just released a karmic. They had to learn a karmic lesson. Whoever this person is, is strongly um, desiring to come in. I'm getting a strong sense of this person, like sending you messages telepathically, intuitively. The six is the lovers and this is the six, the love. Remember, I was speaking on that in the spiritual career. You two may come into union and, and open up some sort of spiritual shop, business. You know, you could offer spiritual services, whatever this is, soul to soul is playing. And with this self-discipline, it's like what's hidden in, you know, what's hidden in the energy is this 41 self-discipline is on the bottom of the deck. So I'm about to pull that energy. But with this self-discipline, someone has been learning. Someone has been taking the time to learn. Someone has been taking the time to seek out advice, to speak to elders or maternal or paternal figures, to pastors or preachers or master teachers, shamans. They, they've been taking the time to, to grow. This 41 reduces to five, which is associated with the hierarchy. This could even be your energy, like maturing spiritually, like really gaining that spiritual strength, really coming into spiritual alignment, you know, really be becoming, you know, a spiritual practitioner. But this is what is hidden. So let's tap in. I also feel marriage is in your futures. I have, and I'm hearing for some of you all, we have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. What is hidden in the energy? Yep. I can't make this up. We have 74 nature and this connection is going to be a la natural. I feel like you and this person are going to spend a lot of time in nature. This is going to be someone that loves outside, loves to be outdoor. They're very outdoorsy. I heard outdoorsy, but this could also be someone who was born in 1974. Maybe they were born on 11, 11, 11, 7, 11, 4. Maybe this is someone with whom you just have, like I said, that chemistry, that synergy, the connection is just going to be all natural, very organic, the way the two of you may come into union. We have self-discipline here that also flew back out. 
And then we have love partnership. This is what's hidden. So whoever this person is, this is someone who has been learning. You've been teaching this person whether you realize it or not. They've been watching you. They've been watching, which is why patience is required because they're working on themselves. They also may have a choice. And we have um, ramp, and this is called come into knowledge. So this person may have had some sort of epiphany as of recently, may have come to some sort of realization, especially with that 78, which reduces to 15, which is six for who you're attracting to you. Maybe this is someone this, that's, you know, uh, just as sensitive psychically, intuitively. Maybe they are also a channeler. Maybe they do tarot cards. Maybe they scry. Maybe they're practitioners. Maybe they, you know, they, they could be um, into metaphysical or occult information as well. But whoever this is, what's hidden is a love partnership. This is definitely something that is going to develop into, like I said, marriage. Because I saw, you know, this 41, 5, that's like the Hierophant energy. And with self-discipline, this is someone who is learned. You know, they've learned some lessons. They've learned tough lessons, but they've learned nonetheless. And this 26 and this five, that's, remember when we first opened the reading, it was 805. And uh, that reduced to 13. And so we have 13 here again. So whoever this is, they've gone through their own transformation startling metamorphosis or this could just be speaking to your own startling metamorphosis and transformation and this is what's a causing uh the shift this is what's causing things to to uh become more grounded more balanced in your lives because now it's like you've learned tough lessons from a karmic love ship maybe you had to walk away from someone because of you know, the way uh, that they were treating, you, you know, mistreating you for that matter. With coming to knowledge, maybe you've learned some things uh, that was going on and that was, you know, what led to the demise, to the death of that relationship. That's what's hidden. Or maybe someone is experiencing this now because what's hidden is, you know, someone's coming into knowledge, which is what that 41, the Hierophant is all about. It's about studentship. It's about, you know, soaking up, you know, knowledge, soaking up that information, you know, researching, investigating. This is that energy of tutelage. Even if you're sitting at the feet of a master teacher, an elder, an uncle, an auntie, a maternal, paternal figure, a healer, shaman, a light worker. It's like someone is coming into knowledge, absorbing the information and learning from it, perhaps gaining the strength to walk away from a love partnership or a partnership because maybe there is no love. Remember I saw the anchor um, in the sky when I was taking a nature walk. And so that could be someone finally, you know, completing a cycle or releasing, you know, being released from a certain situation. So 74 natures on the bottom of the deck. So what is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of peace, power and protection spirit. What is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios? We have a message of peace, power, and protection. We have teaching and learning. Didn't I say that? So whoever this is that is coming towards you, coming into your life, this is someone that has been watching you from behind the scenes, you know? And um, I feel like you, you've taught them a lot. And you've taught them a lot because they've watched you evolve. They've watched you transform, ascend. You know, you, you have gained a, a, a whole new perspective on life, on yourself. You're looking at the world differently. You're navigating the world differently. You're going after your dreams. Maybe in the past you could have been more um, introverted. Maybe now you're more extroverted. You're more uh, action oriented. You're not boggled down by fears perhaps, but there's been something that has transformed, something that has changed. The 16. That reduces to seven. So that's the ascension. Remember, I was speaking to the crown chakra. So you went from the base. That's what you rule, Scorpio, is the base, the basement. And you took the elevator all the way up to the crown. And this person has learned from you because they've been watching you. This 57 breaks down to 12. That's three. So this is that person strategizing. I'm getting like the three of wands. So this person's been kind of like strategizing, planning, mapping out a plan. 
you know, being very calculating, you know, really in a good way, though. This is someone really coming in with something, uh, you know, to offer. This is someone wanting to build an alliance, to cultivate a connection, you know, to nurture a connection. And with that seven, I feel like they're going to be rushing in because they too are transforming. They too have had some sort of epiphany. I see a lot of blue and blue is dealing with the throat chakra. So perhaps this person uh, may call you, may text you, speak to you. There'll be communication. But I also feel this is just speaking to uh, you all tapping into your divinity as that divine feminine, the divine masculine, you know, mastering your craft, sharpening your swords and honing your skills. Be more, you know, more active. Be more active in that regard. A lot of you all have not been, you know, doing as much as you can, you know, so don't ever allow yourselves to get complacent. You know, keep that bigger, keep that fire burning, you know. Ashe, so this teaching and learning, someone's definitely learning from a distance, like they sitting back watching. Let me see what's underneath that. There goes the three, see? They're learning from you, beloveds. They're learning from you. There goes the three, the empress right underneath that. So this is that person that wants to come in, reunite. I was getting someone wanting to reunite. And we got 44 here, environment. So this person definitely is someone you may be familiar with. With four and four, I feel like this person has also been taking the time to heal themselves. They've been through a lot. We can see that as well. You know, they've been through go going through some sort of transformation, some sort of death of a relationship, of a connection. You know, when these cards come out, it doesn't only have to be your energy. This could be the energy of the person that you are attracting to you as well. So let's get some messages from Energy Oracle Deck. And so we have the sixth chakra. Look at that. Archangel Metatron. So Archangel Metatron, this is again telling you trust your intuition. This is again telling you like use discernment. There's someone coming in with this four. I'm getting an emperor, a masculine energy. If you are a masculine energy, then there's a feminine energy that's coming in for you. But trust your trust. Trust your own intuition, you know. Always go with your own intuition. We have 24 adjacent possibilities. So some of you all are going to have some options. I feel like there's going to be some options and that's what spirit is telling you to trust your intuition because I'm getting like, you know, the six of swords. So some of you all, there's other doors of opportunity, if you will. So just because there's a sense of like someone returning doesn't necessarily mean that that's your best option because you have other options. You have adjacent possibility. So there's other options that you can consider that spirit is telling you to consider as well. And it doesn't just have to be in terms of love. Maybe some of you all are going to have several people buying for your, your business. You know, maybe you have some sort of um, product that many people want to carry in their shop. Or maybe you are, you know, trying to get a business loan and there's like, Three of them that right now on the table, they like, look, we want to offer you this. And you need to just sit down and meditate, be patient and choose wisely, you know, because everything that glitters isn't gold. Just because somebody's offering you more doesn't mean, you know, the quantity doesn't always necessarily mean that you are coming out on top. Sometimes it's the quality. That's what you need to look at. So that's what uh, Spirit is telling me. So let's tap in. So we have ODB, and this is called Brooklyn Zoo. So some of you all might be from Brooklyn. And this is from um, the uh, return to the 36 chambers. So some of you all could be 36 years young. That reduces to nine as well. So change is definitely coming. Divine spirit of love and light. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. Divine spirit of love and light. Get a message of peace, power, and protection. Bottom of the deck. So we have community here, and this is the number seven. And so this is 999. And 999 
reduces to 27, which is nine yet again. Anything going into nine is that number. So we have financial um, constraints, which is on the bottom of the deck. And that will be there for when we pull the energy of the person or what you're attracting to you. So with this community, I feel like a lot of you all are perhaps calling upon your angels, your ancestors. Perhaps you are uh, speaking, you know, to your uh, beloved deities, asking for their guidance, asking for their assistance. And they're here supporting you. So they're telling you to be patient. Because just as I said, there's things happening and working out behind the scenes. So a lot of you all, it may be financially, you may feel, you know, things are a little strained right now. And spirit is like, look, regardless of how things may appear, you're going to be just fine. Everything is going to work out in your favor. This 13, that's the number that we've been breaking down the entire time. Whatever the spiritual career is. Whatever you've invested in that business and you feel like you didn't see any return on that investment, spirit is like trust. Something is coming. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have strategy and blossoming. So just because things appear to be really, you know, in a funk right now, that doesn't mean that's necessarily the truth. Spirit is working on it. That feather is showing you. Spirit is going to give you the insight, foresight, is going to provide the divine downloads, the divine intervention necessary for you to have success. Because this 78 breaks down to 15, which is six. I'm seeing the six of wands. So I'm seeing victories. I'm seeing breakthroughs. Some of you all may be working with Baba Ogun or maybe Baba Alegawa to open the road. But things may appear a certain way. I was saying that in the beginning of the reading. So you may be looking in your bank account like, dang, what's going on? But you don't know what's coming. You have to believe in and, and trust in the most high, in the divine, even in your own ability. Like, don't don't just be making foolish decisions and then be looking for somebody to bail you out. But if you are being, you know, if you, you handling your business and you're doing what's necessary and you feel like you're not seeing a return on your investment, trust that things will turn around. Because you've put in a lot of time and energy. We already saw the four perseverance. So we know that you've been very resilient, been very steadfast in your, 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 um, in your approach to success. So why is the 78th spiritual career here for what uh, Scorpios are attracting to them? We have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Why is the 78th spiritual career here? Thank you, spirit. And so we have on the bottom of the deck the sun. Didn't I tell y'all... Fret not, worry not, beloveds. So these flew all the way over there. Let me get these cards. Thank you. So the sun is out, beloveds. This is the sun. And I was speaking to the sun earlier. You know, the sun just makes everything brighter. You feel happier. You feel more invigorated. You know what I'm talking about? Like this rejuvenates your spirit. It's like a fresh start, a brand new day. We have journey here. Number two. So this is that same energy of like choices and decisions. Someone making a choice to leave something behind. It unpacked up and they're moving on. This is a new voyage. So you're on this new voyage. You've made a decision to embark on whatever the spiritual career is. And I feel whatever this is, it's going to lead to success. You're going to be signing new contracts. Be mindful to read the fine print. Be mindful to take it to a lawyer so that they can read over it. But we have woman holding a heart as well. So whoever this person is, this is someone coming in intentionally, I feel. Because we have this eight and eight, right? This eight has two plus six is eight. And then we have this eight here. So this is eight and eight. And that reduces to 16, which is what? Seven. So this person that you are attracting or this news that you're attracting, it will be coming in very quickly, very abruptly, in fact. But it's they're coming in confidently. It's as if they have, you know, kind of like released themselves from burdens. You know, they're no longer overwhelmed. Maybe they've just recently severed some sort of uh, contract, you know, in terms of like, 
dissolving a marriage or separating from someone, if they were residing in a home with someone, uh, maybe they've chosen to to leave because I see this person has suitcases, you know, so this person may have chosen to move out. Now, if you look at these two cards, this is 26. And remember, for what's hidden, we had the 26 love partnership. But 26 here is like someone is choosing to leave perhaps a, a, a relationship, a marriage, you know, um, a connection where there was uh, some sort of uh, contractual agreements, like I said, whether this was a marriage and it was dissolved, they went through divorce proceedings, or even if this is just two people who are in like a domestic connection and they, you know, are on the lease together and they choose to, you know, break the contract so someone can leave and exit that apartment. Whatever this is with woman holding a heart, someone has discovered and realized that you are in fact this person's wish fulfillment. Because remember, we also have 26 here. Your energy is also in 26. So you've also been through some changes, made some decisions to love on yourself. That's what that self-love was showing. Self-love is the best love. You got to love you before you can love anyone else. Love is an inside job. And so that's what you've been taking the time to do. And that's what's prepared you for what's to come. That's why with this woman holding a heart, like this person sees your, your heart chakras open. So whatever or whomever this is coming in, they're going to come in and match that vibration and match that frequency. And they're coming in to bring nothing but pure bliss, joy, happiness. This is you, you know, feeling like a kid again, giddy, you know, having butterflies when you see their phone number pop up in the phone, you know, or just like, just feeling like you have that school girl or school boy crush, teenage love, you know, and we have, um, Lady G, and this is called enough respect. So yet again, this person will have a lot of respect for you, will treat you like the, the goddess or the god that you are, the queen or the king that you are, the emperor or the empress that you are. Like the, the, the realness, they, they definitely appreciate and value your realness because they have seen and they've learned the hard way that you're like a rare find. So they're going to value and cherish you. This is someone that sees the truth, sees the light. They've seen the light. So why is this 11 individu um, individuality and six love here for how this person feels about Scorpio? They have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Why is the 11 individuality? Thank you, spirit. What did I say about love? See that? Archangel Raphael. This is what they feel, love. Their heart chakra has opened up. They also feel like you're the one that got away. They feel like you're the one. You're the yin to their yang. Because this 38 breaks down to 11. So that's one half of 11, 11. So this person is definitely feeling like you are that soulmate. Remember, soul to soul was playing when we was uh, finding the energy on how they feel about you. We also have second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So this is someone very passionate about you. This is someone who wants to come in and like prioritize you. This is someone who's definitely has noticed your change. Like they see that you, you practice self-love, self-care. Like you don't allow anyone to come in and exploit your, your kindness, your heart. You're, you, you, you're, you're very much um, solid in that regard now. Like you're very guarded. You don't just allow anyone in. You don't just have all this flip floppy energy around you. You're very, very particular about who you allow in your cipher. We have on the bottom of the deck 27, walking away. Didn't I say whoever this is was leaving a situation because they've learned a lesson and we have walking away here on the bottom of the deck. So someone has learned something by watching you. Remember we had teaching and learning on the bottom of the deck. So they've watched you walk away from those relationships or circumstances and you've transformed gone through a beautiful startling metamorphosis so someone else is taking note and they're also weighing the pros and cons and realizing you know that it might be 
wiser to just walk away because wherever they are is obviously a change is necessary. You know, whatever isn't glowing is dead. So someone is finally leaving. And Archangel Mikael is just underneath that. Protected, beloveds. So your angels, your ancestors, as I said, a lot of you all could have been praying and asking for guidance. And I was picking up on the fact that you all had support, like your angels and your ancestors. You got three angels that came out during this reading. So that's, you are divinely protected, beloveds. So don't ever doubt, you know, that's why I was going into that whole diatribe because I was picking up on the energy of some of you all who can be kind of like, you know, being a little too harsh on yourself or impatient and, and, and trust you, you, you have a purpose here, you know, whatever decisions you have to make, you, you, you need to meditate, you know, call on some, some guidance, call on your angels and ask them to guide you you know, to give you some downloads, but definitely don't get overwhelmed. Don't start getting up in your head. That's the devil's playground, you know, and you'll start, it's a, it's a downward spiral. Once you start getting in your head and start listening to all that nonsense, trust you, you, you know, you, you, it's a downward spiral. And so we have eye for an eye. Your beef is mine's by mob deep playing. So yeah, eye for an eye. So someone was definitely in a very, disharmonized connection. It was a lot of beefing, a lot of fighting, arguing. It was a lot of tick for tack, you know, and, and that's why someone's finally saying they, they, they're walking away. They're tired of, it. you know, enough is enough is what I'm hearing. So why is this 41 self-discipline, 26 love partnership here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios may have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is this 41 self-discipline and 26 love partnership and look at that financial constraints so whoever this person is they're like really worried over money maybe someone was really dependent like codependent on them for money but money seems to be someone like stressing over money like trying to like like penny pinch maybe someone was in a connection for money see that so look at this we got hostilities woman holding a coin, the garden and the gate. So this is the dilemma. This is the dilemma. With the 13, the love is gone. I feel like something has already, the relationship is already dead, right? Nothing's growing within this relationship. The hostilities have only gotten worse. You know, there's someone here, whether it's a wife, a girlfriend, even if it's a husband or, or a boyfriend, there's a lot of beefing and there's a lot of, you know, like me, 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 I, 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 you know, someone could be like the breadwinner. So they may take, you know, the fact that they could be the head of household a little too serious. Like they, they could be like just, you know, parading around, you know, and, and throwing up in someone's face. This is my house and you could get out. Or, you know, maybe someone is using someone for money. And it's it's starting to get very toxic because there's constant fights and arguments over money, over finances. Look at this. The, the devil's right here. So someone's being deceptive. And then look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. And then the man holding a coin. So you have woman holding a coin, hostilities, financial constraints, deceit and man holding a coin all in the bottom of the deck and envy and envy look at all this 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 is all on the bottom of the deck so envy man holding a coin deceit financial constraint is on the bottom of the deck so this is definitely one of those codependent relationships someone is living some where not because of the relationship or the love that they have for their partner, but because they just need an address. They just need a bed to lay in. They just need a roof over their head. This is a relationship that is of convenience, nothing more. There is a, so much lies and trickery and, 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 and they're envious and jealous of one another, you know, and someone is just perhaps like very, um, they mismanage money as well. This is like somebody that just mismanages money. Like they have no concept of like how to save or how to pay bills. Like they, they maybe this is someone who's never lived alone 
And so they may think they need someone, you know, to help them sustain themselves, but it's like they really just need to learn to be independent. Whatever the case may be, someone is moving on and they're doing quite all right. This person's unhappy because they're walking away. They said, I love me, myself, and I, and I'm going to take care of me, myself, and I. Whoever this person is there in that relationship with, oh, they, they are just vile. You know, this is just nasty. It's just picking fights, arguments, arguing over money all the time, over constant, you know, just, just the money and the bills and the car notes or who's driving the car. You can't drive. I'm like, it's just, it's just so toxic and so annoying that this person is like, I'm out. I could do good by myself. I don't, I don't need to be here. You actually need me to be here, but I don't need to be here. So someone moves on and discovers like, yo, you know, they grew, they grew some wings. You know, they literally grew wings because whoever that person is, maybe they didn't realize their own worth and value. It's just someone who could have definitely, um, could have definitely like felt rejected in this connection as well. So that could be a reason why they may have overcompensated or self-sabotaged. They didn't know their own worth. And so they put up with a lot. And then, you know, the more you work on yourself or the more that you are in that energy of like growing and healing and you're doing that soul work, it's like you, you start seeing the changes, you know? So this person is now seeing some sort of change, you know, and, and they're not liking it because now that means someone else is, uh, going to be able to, uh, to, you know, it's like somebody else is going to be able to enjoy what they took for granted, if you will. Someone else is going to appreciate or value that person and, and treat them better than they did. We have the garden and the gate. So whoever that was, you know, that was just kind of feeling stuck and stagnant and complacent. It's like they finally walked through the door because remember we saw, you know, walking away on the bottom of the deck. So whoever that was, you know, this is probably how they remained in the connection, just kind of feeling like unable to, you know, really sustain themselves or, you know, really stand in that independence as necessary. Maybe they doubted themselves. Maybe they felt like, you know, they, they, they couldn't until one day they just grew wings and took that leap of faith. So let's tap in. So why is this rebirth? Hey, Katara. my friend. Good day. What are you telling me? How can I help you? I'm doing a reading, my love. I'm almost done, okay? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done, geez. Okay. All right. So let's tap in. Let's see. So why is rebirth here? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for the outcome. Why is this Rebirth here. I don't want you to get hit in the face with the cards, Katara. <laughs> I don't want you to get hit. Okay, that fell right on the card. That's powerful. Look at deceit here. Be mindful. That's why intuition kept showing up. So this could be coming from either side. Remember that. Like I said, this could come from your side, the deceit, the trickery. This could be someone from your past who could be mad because you blew up, because you leaving, you walking away, or have walked away. But just know it could be either or your energy or the person you're attracting. The world can't make this up. This is evolution, baby. This is ascension. This is mastering one's self, learning from your healing, learning from your lessons. This is also learning to navigate the world, gaining a more deep and profound understanding of yourselves, of your circumstances, of life. This could also represent distance between you and a beloved. 
or traveling. Some of you all could be traveling. There could be some sort of travel in your future with this rebirth because this seven and this two breaks down to nine. So that could be the positive changes that are, uh, you know, developing here. But be mindful, look alive, be aware, because you could have some trickery, some jealousy, some envy right underneath your nose. Somebody could be jealous because you, you know, you got it going on. You financially stable. We already saw, you know, the individuality card for how this person feels about you. So someone could be a little salty that you, you know, you done left and you're doing good for yourself. You're not needy. You're not wanting for anything. I got to put you down. You're going to stop my video, baby girl. You know, so somebody could be real jealous of like your stability, your independence. You know, this could be even at the job, like somebody sitting at the job hating on you. This is this is uh, very interesting, to say the least. Very interesting. But yep, so let's put this back. <clears throat> so let's tap in. Let's get some moonology cards. What you need, my friend? What do you need? You trying to tell me something? You need something? What you need, my friend? Huh? What do you need? Oh, my friend, you slow blinking. What do you need, my friend? Give me a moment, y'all. <laughs> Katara calls. My bad, y'all. My little Katara was trying to tell me she needed to get into the bathroom. All right, so we have Scenario Plan by Tribe Core Quest. Bottom of the deck, we have Believe in the Impossible, beloved. So there could definitely be some sort of miracle or wish fulfillment, some sort of answered prayer. You know, you're already coming out looking like, you know, you, you've remained hopeful. You've been very diligent in your quest to find knowledge of self and your healing process, just in the change period, you know, that you've been, uh, you know, really embarking on. And so with this belief in the impossible, something that you may have like just put out of your mind or forgot about or stopped asking for or calling in, it definitely could be coming in. Spirit is saying, especially with you like, you know, completing these cycles and, and um, really evolving into uh, this, this, you know, very, spiritually strong uh being you know there, there could be some beautiful rewards awaiting you something that's unexpected or something that may just suddenly happen you you know and that's why there's a lot of hate and jealousy and that's why spirit was telling you to trust your intuition i feel that's also why you have three angels plus this community card which always reminds me of like your ancestors because if you look closely there's like orbs of light and that always represents like spirit, you know, that's around you. And so I feel like you do have a support system, your angels and your guides, especially for many of you who I've already identified as chosen ones or anointed ones. Um, you do have, you know, a calling on your lives. So you will have that force behind you. We saw Archangel Mikael there, like who wants what, you know, giving you the necessary intervention to to take action and to block out certain things that no longer serve you so with this believe in the impossible something that you may have just completely forgot about could be um manifesting and transforming your lives as you know it so let's tap in beloveds let's see what we got coming in going out going on with the moonology deck give you all a nice long read because i owe you that my spirit of love and light, my spirit, we get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpio collective. We get a message of peace, power, and protection. So we have another bonus message. And so this says luck is on your side. Voila. So luck is on your side, beloved. That's what your angels and your guides are telling you to be patient. They're telling you be patient, trust the process, stop trying to control ish. We got this. You're good. You know, luck is on your side. Whatever it is you've been praying for and calling in, regardless of how things appear, you have to walk in faith and trust the process. That's all spirit asks of you. On the bottom of the deck, it says bring love into the situation. 
So someone you may be attracting, be learning how to open their heart chakra, how to express feelings of emotion, how to be vulnerable. This could be someone who could have been devoid of emotion in the past. This could be a learned behavior. This is probably someone who grew up in a household where there was no hugs, no love, no I love yous. So in their relationships, they were just like there, just there, just there, but not, <laughs> you know, and maybe that's something they had to learn. Divine spirit of love and light. Let me get a message of love and light. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Pardon me. Beautiful spirit. Thank you. So what you are attracting to you or who you are attracting to you says be bold and make the first move. So someone definitely has some fears or some intimidations or some a lack of confidence, if you will. And so they are, you know, working through that and sorting through this. But spirit is encouraging them to make, you know, that first move or take the first step. And it could be because, as I mentioned earlier, you all were in that empress emperor energy. And that's kind of hard to approach. But there's a realness about you. There's this 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 down to earth element to your spirit that is just very inviting. It's just very mesmerizing, very attractive. And it lures them in. Look at that. Confidence is your key to success. And we're about to pull a card for how they feel about you. So not only are you regal, royal, but you're confident about it. You're spiritually strong. Your master manifestors, you're self-aware, you're nurturing. You know, you you have you are like the 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 full. You're just the pick of the litter, if you will. You know, you you you're the full package. You just you embody every attribute or characteristic that this person, you know, actually, you know, absolutely desires. But your confidence, they feel like you're you're more confident now. You're a go-getter. You know, you're more determined. You're just very much in that boss, that leader energy. Like you're being a leader. You're being a boss. You could be a really great mom to this person or a really great father. Just very involved. You know, you may have a really dope relationship with your children that this person may admire. And we have um, most deaf, and this is called the panties. So this person is definitely sexually attracted to you as well. So why is this 11 individuality, 6 love, 38, the heart chakra, 36, second chakra, Archangel Ariel here, for how this person feels about our beautiful Scorpios. On the bottom of the deck, it says meditate and contemplate. And that's how you all function. You don't do anything unless you really, you know, unless it sits right in your spirit and unless you take that time to contemplate on it. But it says have faith in your dreams. So didn't I say this person sees you as like a wish fulfillment? Have faith in your dreams. This person may dream a lot about you, dream a lot about this connection. This may be someone, again, like I said, that like you may both be like, um, you know, intuitives or they may know you're intuitive or telepathic, so they could send you messages telepathically or intuitively. But with have faith in your dreams, this is what they feel. They feel like you are the woman or the man of their dreams. And their heart is open. Their heart is full for you. On the bottom of the deck with meditate and contemplate, someone is really trying to, you know, strategize a plan to get out of this toxic, you know, hostile connection, how to leave. You know, because it's almost like this person is like being contained. They're stuck. Even though they're not, this is all in their mind. You know, it's like you got to get out of that comfort zone. You know, it's almost like the, the, wherever they are has become like a prison. And the new moon in Pisces, we just had the full moon in Pisces. So this is really about trusting your intuition. And I feel like that's what someone is going to do. Like they're really like really listening for, uh, you know, divine intervention, really looking for answers to their prayers, really seeking that that advice, you know, perhaps even godly advice. Wow. It's a lot of messages. Whoa. All right. So I'm not taking any of these. I'm going to put them all back. But I'm curious to see what flew out. So we got meditating, contemplate, emotions are running high. 
Don't let your past hold you back. And that's what this person is dealing with right now. They got someone that is just refusing to let them go. You and your loved ones are safe. So someone could be like threatening, arguing, you know. Nothing is yet set in stone. A fiery climax approaches. You are good enough. So this person, this is all what's going on internally, you know. This is that person that's riddled in fear to, to change, you know, their circumstance because of perhaps, like I said, the codependency. When you become so codependent on another person, whether it's finances, which is what was showing up so much, or just emotionally, that could keep you, you, you could be crippled. And the next message we have that flew out is we have expect powerful change. Hold your vision. You're very close to achieving your goals. So this, these didn't fall out by happenstance, nor was it a coinky dink. These, this is literally just telling the story of what your person may be dealing with or what you may be dealing with, you know, with emotions of running high, uh, you think, you know, this is a lot of arguing, fighting. This is someone finally like standing up for themselves and, and, and saying how they feel for the first time, you know? It's just like maybe someone is finally expressing themselves. Someone is also taking the time to like really go within to figure out like what do they want to do? Where do they wish to be? What do they desire? What do they require out of life? Don't let your past hold you back. So with the past, the south node, that's really like, you know, someone who's had some sort of traumas. Like I said, maybe familial traumas, childhood traumas, maybe even um, never having that, 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 that love or that nurturing from a mother or never having, um, you know, that, that guidance, that, that masculine energy present. So not really knowing how to, to be a man, if you are a man or not really knowing how to be, you know, uh, emotionally intelligent in a partnership. So this is someone who's, who's learning, who's having to learn these things. That's why this 41, you know, self-discipline is here because that's someone taking the time to learn you know, taking the time to do their own research, their own investigations. You and your loved ones are safe. So regardless of how hostile and how negative, it probably went to the extreme of having cops called. It's like spirit was covering this person. Spirit was covering you if you were in a hostile, toxic relationships. But with nothing yet is set in stone, this person may, you know, have been giving up on hope. Or maybe feeling like there's no way uh, they're going to be able to get out of the situation. Or they're going to be able to get what they want. You know, who they want. Be where they want. And spirit is like nothing's set in stone. But a fiery climax approaches. So I feel with a fiery climax approaches, something really, you know, uh, the ish hits the fan, so to speak. You know, because, um, you know, for the full moon in Aries card, uh, Mars is a very fiery planet. That's That's really... Uh, a card is known as the Lord, you know, a planet known as the Lord of War. So, you know, whoever this person is, they're pulling out all tricks of the trade to be deceitful, to be deceptive, to be, you know, um, combative. They're going to lie. They're going to they're going to do everything. And someone just needs to know that they're good enough, needs to love themselves a little more than what this deceptive person you know, is, is, uh, trying to, um, convince them or trick them to believe. And with expect powerful change, the change is going to happen regardless because you can't stop what's in, you know, the inevitable and hold your vision. It's like, regardless of how things appear, you know, you have to, you have to walk in faith because they're closer to, you know, achieving their goal than they realize. So whoever that is, whether that be you or this person. So we give these cards another bang, bang, boogie. And we have Mace. And this is called What You Want. And um, they'd be like, tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. Can it do nothing right here? Something we could have for you. Tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. Something we could have for you. I'm chopping up the words, but it's something like that. So take a look at what, tell me what you want from me. So that's what this person is trying to do is like, is just literally trying to rationalize with someone that's irrational. This is an irrational person. This is irrational. And whoever they're with, they're very envious and jealous. And maybe it's because they could have gotten 
uh, you know, some sort of, um, some sort of, um, lead to where this person is heading. Like they, they may know they're heading straight towards you, or they may know they're leaving, you know, like they don't want to be there. So they're being deceitful. They're being, you know, just cunning and, 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 and all, you know, doing whatever they can, pulling all the stops just to get what they want, which is to keep this person stuck. And why? Because of money, finances, material, items, goods, you know, whatever. So why is this 41 discipline, 26 love partnership? Thank you, spirit. Dang, a lot of cards. So the answers you need are coming. So the truth is going to be revealed very soon. And I was mentioning, you know, with all those blue cards that someone is definitely going to be expressing something or is like, you know, it's almost like it's like it's bu it's bubbling up, you know, it's coming up. So it says it's time to release negativity. I can't make this ish up. They have to release this hostile individual and get out of this hostile connection. You'll never find peace that way. And it's time to give rather than receive rather than to take. So this is what they're realizing is that they're deserving as well. You know, they're deserving to be in a, 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 a reciprocal relationship, an equal give and take. And with look at the bigger picture here, this is what someone is finally doing. They're looking at the bigger picture and realizing that it's time for them to shoot their shot. It's time to take action. A new romantic cycle begins. I can't make this up. And conclusions are within reach. So this person is finally going to find their own balance. They're going to finally, you know, make the decision because they're going to go within. They're going to take the necessary time to choose their course of action, being very strategic. Remember, we saw the strategy card. So they could be seeking counsel from, you know, their angels. They could be, you know, devoting time in front of their altars, speaking to their their guides, their deities, but there's definitely some sort of new cycle that emerges because we know every ending denotes a new beginning. So this person is finalizing some sort of cycle. The answers you need are coming, beloveds. So someone that could be at a distance could be traveling to you. They could be, you know, kind of like explaining to you what they've been dealing with, what they've been going through, how they feel. They could be expressing some things that you may have already known, but just was waiting for them to confess it. Or maybe you didn't know. If you know who this person is, I get a sense that this could be someone that you are familiar with, even if this is a past life connection, or maybe this is just a friendship that could potentially turn into love with someone could be returning into your life. Maybe they was in a relationship or a partnership. <laughs> Katara is under the chair, tackling my feet. <laughs> you want to play? I want to play. <laughs> All right. Why is 16 rebirth of the world here? But there's definitely changes. All right, spirit. So we have emotions are running high. So there's going to be a very emotional, emotional time. I feel like this emotional time is going to be just like when you finally sit and have a conversation with whoever this is, but it says a time for healing. So of course you're healing. You're, you're in that process of healing. It says you're very close to achieving your goal. And then it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. So with that world card there, that's just double confirmation. So that's showing like, you know, there's absolutely going to be some sort of reward. You know, some of you all could be dealing with Libra. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, another Scorpio, a Virgo. Or you could be dealing with, yeah, that's what I have. That's what I got for you. So let's tap in. Let's tap in, beloveds. We are not done yet. I'm going to get a couple more messages for you. How you feel about that? How you feel about that? Let me see what we got. We're going to pull some messages from Dark Grimoire because I want to pick up on this dark energy that keeps looming. 
And so we have Le Fleur, Le Fleur, Eshkurska, playing by Helter Skelter. And the name of this album is called Nocturnal. So someone could be like suffering from insomnia, you know, up all night. Just could be nocturnal beings. Maybe that's y'all, Scorpios, most Scorpios tend to be very nocturnal. Uh, we have the moon on the bottom of the deck. So there could be some shadow work being done as we could see clearly. Uh, because the end of a tough cycle approaches is here along with the world card and the rebirth cards, which all speaks to, you know, endings of cycles, completions of cycles. We have, um, who is that? The queen of wands and the moon. So there could be someone who's finally leaving a situation, you know, with the moon, that's like what's hidden. And when you look at this card, you know, the depiction of it is someone's like running away. And you can see like these shadows and these goblins kind of like watching, you know, right, like right here, it's like a goblin watching. So this is like somebody who feels like they are constantly being watched. Um, we have the queen of swords here as well. So maybe this is someone that you could have cut off in the past. You know, maybe this is someone who may feel like you could be a little um, harsh or maybe you could be just very stern you know, in your approach, or maybe you're just very guarded. Uh, what did I say about this person seeing you as a star? You know, they definitely see you as the star. They see you as a wish fulfillment, you know. Um, some of you all definitely have uh, some sort of business. Like, you've been, like, really learning to co-create with Source. You've been turning your pain into power. This is really, like, you know, turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower. Like just really accepting yourselves, you know, mind, body, and soul, really embracing, you know, whatever you've been, you've experienced, it's like you've embraced it and you've literally turned it into power. And this death card is here as well. So this led to transformation. You're healing from the death, from the demise of, you know, relationships, connections, even the death and the demise of your own personality, your own self, like. We all go through, you know, transformations. We change constantly, or at least where it's supposed to, you know. But someone is looking at this situation with a whole new set of eyes. They're seeing you in a different light. They're looking at this from a completely different vantage point. Maybe someone was under the influence, which is why it, you know, kind of uh, skewed their uh, vision or their opinions. I feel like there's some sort of fortune, fame, unexpected income, a blessing, bonus, pay increase, financial reward, some unexpected finances is coming. And that's double confirmation. You got the wheel and the ace of pentacles together. So I'm here in stardom, especially with the spiritual career here. I just feel like, you know, and luck is on your side. Some of y'all need to play, you know, some of these um, games like lottery. You need to get some scratch off tickets you know, because you'll be surprised, like you might win, you might have sudden wealth, you might have some sort of unexpected, you know, windfall of money. That's blissing right there. And we have the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles here. So this two of pentacles is depicted by this, this masked person that is trying to off this individual. And this is someone who was a false person all along. And they waited for the opportunity to get them in this alley and they're trying to take them out. So whoever this is, this is someone that could have had been juggling you in the past. Someone who was kind of in two minds, indecisive, didn't know what they want. But now they could see whoever this snake was, whoever this hostile individual was, they could see them for who they were because they was wearing a mask. Anytime you see a hood, that's someone being like, you know, they're concealing their, their true identity. You know, they're, they're not who you think they are. They're wearing a mask. And this person finally sees this person for who they truly are, you know. And so with this Ace of uh, Pentacles, I do feel like someone does have um, some opportunity to escape that situation because it does become very toxic. This could be even your situation where you may have escaped an abusive relationship with someone who could have been just kind of like living off of you, getting fat off of you, like my grandfather used to say, you know, like somebody just literally 
acting like a parasite, a leech, an energy vampire, just sucking the life force out of you. So the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, new beginnings, luck is on your side. So whatever action that you take, it's leading straight to success. So if you choose to go get some of those tickets, those scratch off tickets, trust you're going to win. There's going to be some sort of win, whether it's $500, $5,000, $50,000, $100,000. Like you have an opportunity to win big. You know, I also feel like, you know, um, if you are indecisive about something, I feel like you are finally going to, um, you know, make peace with some sort of decision and you're going to choose, you know, a certain action and it's going to lead, you know, to some sort of success here. I feel like your angels and your ancestors could be like guiding you, you know, and, um, you know, could be kind of like conspiring behind the scene to bring something in. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the Hierophant and I mentioned the Hierophant. So this Hierophant is showing that someone that you are attracting has been learning. They've been taking the time to learn. They've been taking the time to study, you know, they've been in a very studious energy. Let me get a sip of my water. I'm sorry. Oh, this card is upside down. What's that? And that's the Page of Swords. Look at that. Didn't I say somebody was watching you? I always feel like. And so we have Lonnie Liston, Astral Travel. So this person, whoever this is that you are attracting, I mentioned that they could be watching you because they're learning from you, obviously. Um, cause we saw teaching and learning, but this is someone that astral travels and visits you. Remember we saw seven, seven spirituality and that seven is associated with the crown. And I was feeling like this is someone that is also spiritual. Someone's also psychic. So they could be astral traveling, visiting you in your dreams, speaking to you intuitively or telepathically. Um, but they are definitely keeping tabs and they're, they're prepared to speak to you. I feel like they're more, um, they're more prepared now than ever to communicate. So who is this person our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them? They have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. We get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you so much. All right. So we got a message and we have the four of wands. I can't make this up. I mentioned 1111, twin flame, you know, because that 11 came up for how they felt about you. And this is one half of the, you know, that was one half of the 11-11. But this is how they feel. The four of wands, they feel like they could build with you, grow with you. They could cultivate a life, you know, they can build a nucleus. This is someone that wants to live together, you know, someone that wants to move in with you. But with, you know, astral traveling, I do feel like this person is, is visiting you in your dreams, whether you realize it or not. How they feel about you, we have the nine of wands. Now, that's interesting because I was picking up the nine of wands with this nine and nine compassion. So they do feel you're guarded. They feel like you are, you have like this fiery wall of protection and you do because a lot of you all, you know, Archangel Mikael is very present in your lives. I feel a lot of you may be doing like that nine week Archangel Michael um, ritual. You could go, bud, go put your thing in the... <laughs> You know, so I feel like a lot of you may be doing your, um, you know, like that nine week Archangel Mikael ritual on Tuesdays. And uh, so you do have like a very strong, uh, powerful um, spiritual protection around you. So this person is also like looking at you as someone who's, you know, guarded in many ways, you know, like almost uh you know, just, just like I'm hearing untouch untouchable. So they could, you know, feel like you are just, you have boundaries or you're just unapproachable to some degree. Um, but let's tap in. Let's see. So how does this person, uh, Scorpios are attracting to them feel about our beautiful Scorpios? We have on the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. So they can see marriage in their future when it comes to you, but they also feel like you are attractive. We have the queen of wands and we have the queen of pentacles so they feel like you are you know very um very successful very independent you know this individuality card speaks volumes you know this is how you feel you know your independence is the foundation for your stability your security and your overall happiness 
So they feel like you are self-sufficient. This is like pre-emperor status, the queen of pentacles, but they also feel like you are super attractive, very, very, um, very brilliant in a way, you know, like, you know, how to, to get your coins, you, you, you know, how to, um, you know, to manifest You're you're very practical, you're very resourceful, you're even domestic. So you may have, you know, you know how to keep house, but you also know how to cook, you know, how, how to, and this is whether you're masculine or feminine. So you, you know, you may be in the house chefing, you know, chefing it up, but this is someone that sees you as, um, just super attractive, um, and also very, very uh, independent, very, very strong, very self-sufficient. Um, we have got to get you home tonight playing. And this is by Eugene Wilde. So this person does want to get you, I'm hearing, get you back. They want to move in because the four wands is just showing me like with that soul to soul that was playing early. I was, that was sticking out. I feel like this is the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. Uh, Scorpios and they want to get you home meaning I feel like not just get you home tonight and you know being intimate but I feel like they they want to build a home they want to you know have a happily ever after with you they want to you know have that happy spouse happy house type of vibes with you but they are you know exiting stage left so this Hierophant is here because they have been learning you know maybe they've been learning to stand erect to speak their truth and that's why there's a lot of arguments because they're talking, you know, they're, they're, they're speaking up for what they believe in now. So why is this 41 self-discipline, 26 love partnership, 26 hostilities, 42 woman holding a heart, 30, um, the garden and the gate here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios may have a message of peace, power, and protection. So this card is sticking out. I'm going to take this card right here. And this is the nine of swords. Didn't I say this is someone like suffering from insomnia up at night? They can't even recognize themselves, you know, like who they became perhaps in this relationship, you know, just complacent, stuck, you know, and this is because they've been with someone who uh, was a hidden enemy. This is someone that was, you know, obviously deceitful and, and, and envious of them. And so the, this nine of swords is them up at night suffering from insomnia maybe someone has placed some sort of like voodoo hoodoo juju santeria black magic white magic ritual work spell work on this person like to keep them contained to keep them stuck and maybe that spell has been broken um with this hangman i feel this person has finally seen the light like they're seeing things for what they truly are i want to get one more message for what's hidden for this person with the nine of swords why is this nine of swords flew out Wow, that's powerful. Look at that. And we have the 10 of chalices. So there's someone who feels like they lost themselves in a relationship. It's like they just, they may have jumped head in, you know, head first into a relationship and lost themselves. And when they started to realize that they couldn't recognize themselves anymore, when they looked themselves in the mirror, this is when they knew that it was over. It was done. You know, it was time for them to learn to love themselves again. There was the end, the death of a demise. Remember, we had that 26 partnership, a uh, love partnership. And the 10 of cups is like the end of a love partnership. It's the end of a love connection. This is what's hidden. So this person took a leap of faith, but there was nothing but lies and trickery. Look at all the clouds, you know. So it was a very um, confusing time in this person's life. But there was also a lot of, you know, deception even, a lot of gaslighting you know, a lot of, of delusion even, or illusion, you know, ill use of their ions, as my daughter would say, but the King of Pentacles is here on the bottom of the deck. So this is stability and security. This is also, you know, obtaining, you know, some sort of new position or new role. Perhaps this person was, you know, like I said, the breadwinner and someone could have been codependent on them financially, emotionally, you know, that King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, they are, um, very resourceful, very practical, very devoted. Um, and they're more so also willing to compromise, also willing to be supportive, you know, of their partner. And so maybe that's what, you know, someone took advantage of someone's kindness or someone's big heart, if you will. So the 16 rebirth, the world card is here and we have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So this is someone like really like, you know, speaking to 
perhaps, you know, others seeking advice for how to take action or leave a situation. And we have the nine of wands here. So that nine of wands is again showing like, you know, just protecting your energy, being very guarded, especially after some sort of transformation and, you know, completing a cycle, you're going to be very guarded. But I do feel like spirit uh, wants you to uh, just surrender a little bit, be more receptive because there's something beautiful coming in. Whatever these individuals, like you're untouchable. Remember I was hearing untouchable earlier and that's literally what that is because you've got a fiery, you know, impenetrable wall of protection around you. So all these little haters and the devil and all those little snakes and fakes, they can't get at you. This is what you've created. This is just this, this protective bubble around you. And so they could be seeking, you know, advice on how to come in. See that? Look at this. We got the, uh, wow, 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 wow. So we have the King of Swords and the Justice card here. So the King of Swords, this is that uh, person finally standing up for themselves and speaking their truth. And, you know, they're getting advice. Someone's telling them, look, you know, stand your ground, you know, stand up for what you believe in, speak your truth, cut that person off if that's not where it is. You know, if you don't feel you know, satisfied, if you feel like the relationship is stuck, you know, at a standstill, then there's nothing more there to salvage, especially if you are dealing with someone hostile and, you know, um, just illogical, you know, and with this justice card, I was mentioning someone like having someone do some spell work, juju, -ju, you know, voodoo, juju, hoodoo. And if you look, this is like, you know, this is a, um, someone with, you know, pins stuck in them. So it's a voodoo doll with pins stuck in it. So this is like someone did a love spell because all of this pins are right out on the heart chakra. And so this is what someone was dealing with. And that's why the devil was showing up. And that's why this connection grew very toxic because I feel like spirits and, and, and someone's angels and ancestors, especially being that this spirituality card showed up, which shows me that not only are you spiritually connected, but whoever you're attracting. So whether you have people doing voodoo, juju, hoodoo on you or your person, it's like spirit is not going to sit back and allow that. So there is a tower moment that ensues. There's some sort of breakdown in a connection. Something is revealed. A truth comes out. Whatever was hidden, it is exposed. And someone is bolting their ass up out of there. They realized they were sleeping with the devil or the sleeping with the enemy. Look at this. Look at all these cards. These are some heavy cards. See how this person is resting and this devil, like this person is trying to sneak in. This is a sneak attack right there. And they was waiting for that opportunity, you know, so this, and they have a gun there. So they know that they, you know, got to protect themselves. But, you know, this is obviously someone um, that they have trusted enough to, you know, to, to be in the house together. So let me get one more card to uh, clarify this outcome energy. Why is this nine of wands here for the outcome? Clarifying the rebirth in the world. Ooh, oh. Let me get one more message spirit. And we have um, I'm Yours playing by Jason Mars. So this person feels like you're theirs and they're yours. And we have this uh, Knight of Pentacles. So this is that person that's been like planning and preparing, strategizing. They want to take their time to get it right. You know, they have fears though. They fear that you're going to be guarded. And I feel like that's why the surrender card showed up. Spirit also said, trust your intuition. You know, I feel like you need to trust your intuition as well. But there goes the uh, Five of Wands. So this five of wands is showing like, you know, there is, um, you know, perhaps a need for, you know, there to be some, some, um, a change of your perspective or a change of direction is what I'm hearing. Like someone is, you know, kind of like contemplating a change of direction. So let's get some more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So check this out, beloveds. Didn't I say that there was some unexpected money coming in? 
because you had this luck is on your side, unexpected money, a wish fulfillment, a blessing. 1111, someone's trapped, your person's trapped. Whoever this person is, they're trapped, they got stuck, you know, and this could be imprisonment of the mind. You know, someone is also trapped because they have money motivated. They're only worrying about money. So this flew right back out. That's interesting. And remember, we had luck is on your side. And we also have the ace of wands. So whoever this is that's trapped or feeling stuck, they're going to get out of this situation. But it's all, like I said, once you get stuck in your mind, once you get entrapped, it's like it, it, it's a it's a downward spiral. Because that's where the devil, that's the devil's playground. And that's where the devil likes to pull strings and play games. And so someone was, or they trapped. This is the overall energy. They're feeling trapped, feeling stuck. They're dealing with a rat. And luck is there. The angels are there. Their ancestors are there guiding them. See that gift? Spirit is going to hand someone a gift. Let's get one more message to clarify this imprisonment. Why did this imprisonment just pop out? For my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. Community. Yet again, double confirmation. So if you are trapped or if this person is trapped mentally, the community, the angels, the ancestors are supporting this union. So they're conspiring behind the scene to untrap this person because this is obviously a twin flame union. This is someone that is the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. And spirit is already confirming that multiple Many times it's been confirmed. And so bottom of the deck of who you're attracting to you, we have a mature man or mature woman, pardon me. So this is someone that has matured. I was speaking of maturation earlier, someone who's been learning and growing, someone who has been evolving emotionally, mentally, spiritually. See that? Someone's changing their address to come in and off, put a ring on it. Like I'm hearing put a ring on it. This is someone coming in, like they packing up. This is the second time we saw this person was packing up their luggage. So someone's literally moving out of a house. And we have um, Erica Badu singing, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like this person is packing up and moving. Why? Because they want to build with you. They want to cultivate with you, Scorpio. So who is this person um, Scorpio is attracting? Who is this person our beautiful Scorpios are attracting? They get a message of love and of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. Didn't I tell y'all this person was going to message you? This person was going to call you, but they have they have a lot of concerns, you know? This is why that Nine of Swords showed up also, because they're like, you know, the, the whole process is just tumultuous. It's just stressful. But this is that person. See, this is why they are dealing with what they're dealing with, because they are wealthy. You know, they they got their ish together. They're, they're very financially stable. And maybe that's why um, that... Um, financial constraints was there because maybe they are like literally handling all the financial responsibilities. You know, they got a lot to, to, to worry about, you know, in terms of finances, household, like they, they are, they're, they're naturally concerned with everyone's well being, and that may weigh heavy on them, but you got three, 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 which is what? Nine, 10. Yeah. So 10. Yep. So this this is the person that sees you as a wish fulfillment because that one and that seven is eight. And didn't I say they may call you, they may message you. This is what they want to do. They're definitely going to reach out, but they do have some concerns. Unsure of how you're going to respond, if you're going to be receptive. We got sudden wealth here. So you are ha absolutely coming into some sort of blissing. This showed up when I first opened up the deck and it's showing up again when we pull, we're about to pull your card, your energy. So... How they feel about you is sudden wealth. They feel like they hit the jackpot with you. That's what I just heard in my mind's eye. They're going to feel like they hit the jackpot. We got Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick, the show. So they're going to come in and show you. They may like shower you with gifts. They may shower you with, you know, attention, you know, but this is someone with sudden wealth. They may just be supportive. You know, you may, they may become your spiritual partner. If you have a business, this may be the person willing to finance whatever your uh, business endeavors are. So how does this person, Scorpios, are attracted feel about them? They have a message of peace, power, and protection. So I see judication here. 
So they, they could see themselves marrying you. They could see themselves coming into a union. 30 is literally the number of um, the empress, but this is also uh, the number of like, you know, someone planning and preparing and getting the three of wands, three of pentacles, building an alliance. Um, you know, this is a man and a woman sitting before a judge. So how they feel about you is perhaps, you know, they, they feel like you may judge them. You know, they feel like, you know, they don't want to be judged by you. They don't want to, to have you, um, you know, judging them or, or being super guarded with them, you know, because they want to be accepted. We have main female here on the bottom of the deck. So whoever this person is dealing with, whether this is a man or a feminine, um, this main person they're dealing with is the one that they are cutting themselves free from. Why is uh, this 41 self-discipline, 26 love partnership, hostility, woman holding a heart, garden in the gate here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios. I have a message of love and light, peace, power, and protection, spirit. And then we're going to wrap it up. The spirit, they have a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. So they gave me a couple of messages. And we have sudden wealth here on the bottom of the deck. Like, it's it's happening, y'all. Be prepared. That's why I said don't be, don't, like, regardless of how things appear, you know. And remember, that card said looks can be deceiving or, you know, um, things are not what they appear to be. Something to that extent. So we have occupation. So this person is working extra time, overtime, anytime just to stay out of the house, stay away from the drama. So that could be why financial constraints was there, because maybe this person is just constantly like just working just to, to escape, you know, the negativity in the household. And, um, you know, there's no no joy in life, no peace. You know, um, maybe this is someone you could have met at your place of employment or maybe this is someone that you will meet at your place of employment. See that thief? I told you they was dealing with a false person. So someone is dealing with a false person. And this, uh, look at that. They've matured, whoever this is. That's what I was getting with this self-discipline. I was saying that was like the hierophant. And this right here is, and there goes the globe. So this person is well-learned. They've learned a lot. You know, they've matured, you're mature. They saw you as a mature woman, but this person was dealing with a thief. You know, they was dealing with someone that was just stealing their time, their energy, their money, just dealing with them for what they had. And they had to learn the hard way that it wasn't love. So they've matured, they've grown up and they got their eyes on you, beloved, whether female or masculine, whether feminine or masculine. All right. So let's see. What is the outcome? Why is the 16 rebirth, the 29 world? Here for my beautiful Scorpios for the outcome and get a message of peace, power, and protection. I can't make this up, y'all. I told you y'all was going to get married. I told this person had marriage on their brain. Someone is suffering from heartache and loss. This four, this 31-4, this is what this person is dealing with. They're suffering from heartache and loss, perhaps from a marriage, from the, 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 the uh, dissolution of a marriage. But I feel also... This, this is speaking of you and this person coming into union. So they right now, there could be a lot of pain, you know, a lot of agony because you're just getting over, you know, this hump. Maybe this is your energy or maybe this is what this person is going through. Maybe someone is suffering from some sort of um, health issues. But I do feel like with this marriage here and high honors, there is victories, there is rewards. And there's success ahead. And there's an official person coming in that will court you, beloveds. And you're expecting this. This is you being the intuitive beings that you are. Let me get one more message. Why is this 31 health here? If someone was suffering from heartache and loss, this 31 always makes me feel like that's like someone, you know, suffering from heartache and loss. And that could be why they're taking their time because they may have fears associated with getting their heart broken again. Let me get a message of love or peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpio. See that? So this is what it, the outcome. The outcome is high honors. So they do move out of this energy, you know. This four and this seven, that's 11. So this is your person. 11, 11 came out a couple of times, beloved. And we have great fortune on the bottom of the deck. Can't make this up.
So, beloved, you have a beautiful reading. You have a beautiful reading yet again. Um, this is just showing resilience, as I said, not just you pushing through and fighting through, you know, whatever karmic lessons that you had to, um, but whoever you are um, drawing in, they too have gone through a similar uh, life lesson. And they are just at the precipice of completing their karmic cycle or their uh, karmic lessons. And the two of you are coming into union. This is literally what I was seeing, victories, breakthroughs. This is like ceremonies. This is celebrations. Um, so this person does move out of that energy quite fast, you know, expeditiously, to be honest with you. Um, and there's fortune here. Look at that. Fortune, a mature woman, change journey see that you can't make this up this is what your person is embarking on they're going to pay you a visit because remember the world card is here and so there is distance whether emotional mental physical and this person is going to pay you a visit and they may find themselves relocating or you may be relocating but with this mature woman you're matching this person's vibration and frequency as they are you and what is that six and five reduced to eleven Twin flames, beloved, can make this up. So this is your message. I hope the message resonated for you all. I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. Play the lottery. Play some scratch-off tickets. You got some money coming in, beloved, and this is yours. So whether you are expecting this or not, it's like call it in, draw it in. You know what I'm talking about? But I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe yo to all of you who may be new. Welcome. I hope you stay a while. I hope the message is resonated. I hope my reading, the way that I read, my energy vibrates with yours. To all of you who are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe yo. Love y'all. Peace.